something to go in the bag were it not full. Um, hmm. I guess we'll take, uh, I don't know, some odd item out, like the helmet, I suppose. And we'll stick that in the bag folding. Very good. As for this amulet, um, gosh, who would actually wear it? I don't know. I'm not really sure whether 5% magic resistance is actually better than getting a bonus to the save. Something that we'll have to review another time. Right now we need to focus on actually making everyone better after such a nasty fight. Didn't have to use that much magic, but yes. kind of demonstrated the fact that we don't seem to have a lot of sequencers yes. at the ready right now, and we really should, considering uh, the kind of trouble that the group can get into if they don't have these spells at the ready. He has a minor sequencer ready, but that's it. Alright, so let's get healing then. Ready. We'll use uh, this creature. Bacio, Bacio, uh, we are all heroes. You and who and I. Monsters and rangers oh. everywhere. Rejoice! <laughs> Okay, in terms of people who have been particularly hurt, I suppose... Yeah, why not? They just definitely put up their stone skin protection. As I would have done. All right then. Oh yes. Let's continue onward. However, Minsk is going to be the one taking point. Jump on my sword while you can, Evil. Just as Considering he's equipped for it. In the name of Ruth, we sword. live by the sword. Live a good long oh, time. Oh, actually, appear to be some drow that are fighting Beholder. In the name of Ruth, stand back for justice. Well, they don't seem particularly pleasant, and frankly, any excuse Carrot has that he can get away with eliminating some en some drow, he's going to take. So let's just be nasty about it. Abi Dazim's hard wilting right into their midst. To here doesn't have anything particularly devastating like that, but she can sling bullets at them to add insult to injury. Um, then we'll win. Ooh, Chain Lightning looks like it could be a lot of fun. Actually, not targeted on the main drill, it's targeted on the Beholder. And a ricochet to the rest of them. And Yan, save yours. I think this might be a good opportunity to use that wand you've got. It's just a very tough drow. Well, stay out of the poison club. This place is just too darn creepy. Mm. Magic resistance is just so much trouble. There we go. This one was apparently paralyzed somehow. Oh, hey! There actually seems to be some treasure tucked into the wall over there. Let's have Imowen take a look at it. Gold and a scroll. Of identify. Hmm. What about on the person of these drow that we defeated? Well, oh, the usual uh, equipment. Not every little bit of gold helps, though. So I'll just have. We'll just have Minsk pick all that up. 
Really, he's... Oh, because of the shield reducing his strength. That's why. Um, okay, so we'll give that to Jahira then. I thought as much. Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I as won't be have. a gentleman. All right, excellent. Beholder I wouldn't dream defeated. Of and the question is, how do we want to map this place out? It would probably be bright if we actually used. Uh... Well, first we need to prepare our sequencers. Two magic missiles, very effective. Come on, Imowen. It's a pretty long spell to cast. All right, there we are. Okay, so now that we've got those prepared, do we have larger sequencers at the ready? Uh, well, we should get a contingency going for her. Can go up to level five spells, it would seem. Hmm. Helpless, poisoned. Huh. can only target herself, so it should be a protection awarding spell of some kind. Shadow door generally needs to be directed. I think, uh... Remove fear on herself, or resist fear, might be wise. Hmm... Actually, I think I'm going to go with Minor Globe of Invulnerability when she sees enemies. And I think that is it as far as contingencies go. Oh wait, she has another cast of it. That's odd. Um, hmm. He has a powerful spell sequencer to prepare. Alright, this is one that's going to be a... Uh, Pretty formidable. It's gonna have it rigged so that he can instantly cast improved invisibility. Uh, ghost armor. And invisibility. Eh, no, not that again. But uh, how about vocalize on himself? That should be fairly snazzy. Way of defending himself. Um, hmm. I think that's it as far as that is concerned. I don't think Yan has anything additional like that to prepare. Oh wait, no, we can prepare a contingency for him. Alright, in case of danger, let's say he is uh, hurt, he'll automatically go invisible. Okay. This place is just too darn creepy. I really want out of here. Yeah, you and me both, M1. So let's summon up the wizard eye. And let it do its job. Thankfully, but wow, that is a lot of enemy beholders. Well, that's definitely... Whoa! 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 Mind flayers? Nobody said anything about mind flayers being in here. Oh dear. A lithid fighting with some gauth. Oh dear. And they're still doing battle. Uh oh. I think. Oh, the wizard eye was actually stunned by all their spell effects. Wow, it doesn't seem like anyone's really gaining the upper hand. I mean, they're side blasting the Gal. The Gal are not shooting back, so I guess they managed to paralyze them. Oh, now it's becoming a fight. Yeah, they're sucking their brains out. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. That's poor Gelf. Poor Gelf. As if there's something to be pitied. Um, hmm. I think it's gonna have to be, uh... 
Yan's turn then. Does he have the wizard eye ready? Ooh, I don't think he does, actually. So we're gonna have to explore conventionally. The bigger they are, the harder I hit. Oh, there's actually another uh, little nook over here. In it is a uh, apparently a some sort of slingshot and uh, a gem. Except Uncle Gerhardt isn't passed out by the turnip still in the corner. Sling of Arvarine plus four. The sling is blessed by the halfling goddess Arvarine. The weapon was granted to the heroic Tuckerby Littlewerp after the Battle of Moor Road, in which an invading army of Wanti were slain by Littlewerp's forces, saving his halfling village. The sling has the ability to rend the senses of the wielder's enemies with a wall of sounds, said to be the voice of the goddess herself. Sonic boom once per day. Must save first the spells or be stunned for three rounds. A plus four sling. Wow. Jir will definitely be taking use of that. That is powerful. As for Arliss Dragonbane, that's another powerful sling, but who would use it? Maybe Carrot? If he doesn't want to use his throwing dagger, either way, it's something that's going to be saved. Because that's just uh, too valuable just to toss away. Wow, what a find. Don't teach my hamster to suck eggs! Alright, let's send Minsk forward to deal with these beholders. Charge! You raise me nothing! I will smite you all! Oh, that shield is a godsend. The holders be gone. Alright, well, we dealt with that threat. There are a number of passages leading over there, and it looks like the Mind Flayers are still wrecking havoc over in this direction. Anything that would help us fight them is a good thing. But do we have anything to resist their mental powers? I suppose we could send Minsk and Berserk, but that's always dangerous. I think the best thing to do would actually be to try to sneak over there. No problem at all. Alright, so they're all right over here. Oh, she saw the enemy, so her spell protection went up. Alright. Uh, Let's send some nasty magic over their right. way. If only to this remind them that we really don't like a lithid, and we'd rather much they very go away in a most hasty and violent manner. Alright, so let's do Delayed Blast Fireball. Um, regular Fireball. Um, chain Lightning we need a target for. How about another whiff of that uh, Cloud Kill block? <laughs> Well, that probably upset them just a touch. Here it comes! Fire! One down. Oh, there are a lot of them. Whoa, look out, Imwin. Oh, I know what he's doing. He's trying to suck out the brains of the people who are paralyzed. I hate it when they pull that stuff. God, frickin' my players. Alright, fine. There's a way we can deal with this. Minor Sequencer! Oh, that is so annoying. Alright, there's gotta be something we can do here. To get them, uh. Damn it, our magic resistance is the problem. Here we go. We can use our. to summon up an air elemental right in their face. This one is pretty badly injured. And they suck Carrot's brain out. Because they're cheap like that. Okay! 
so there you go. A little bit of a setback there. Hopefully nothing too drastic. These things are unfortunately kind of be expected in high level encounters. We'll just catch back up there really quickly. Alright, so let's uh get them with extreme prejudice here. You point, I punch. Oh, the hold magic's actually worked. <laughs> I'll walk into the poison cloud. Okay, now we can go get him. Enemies defeated. Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. They proved not too ferocious yet again. friends do have to find a way to more efficiently deal with Beholder, uh, Illithid though, because the, that paralyzation is just death. It's so irritating too, because there's really no way to, that he knows of in order to fend from it. Alright, we collect a, uh, recollect the Sling of Arborine. Sort everything away, quickly, efficiently. Little fuss, little muss. All right, there we are. As you will. Should be some rather nasty beholders down there, which Minsk, with his Don't handy dandy shield, can, will be able to I deal with with greater efficiency. <laughs> They're putting their own selves in a state of panic. That one is actually petrified. 